Friends, in this video, we are discussing inverse Laplace transform of multiplication by S. Inverse Laplace transform of multiplication by S. What is the statement? If L inverse of f of S is, is equal to f of t, then L inverse of S into f of S, L inverse of S into f of S is equal to f dash of t where f of 0 is equal to 0 statement if l inverse of f of s is equal to f of t then l inverse of s into f of s is equal to f dash of t where f of 0 is equal to 0 you see multiplication by s we are doing so multiplication by s per what l inverse of f of s so you see this is f of t and this is f of s if it is laplace transformation now this will become l inverse for this we are applying s then right side uh, if you are multiplying s for the right side then right side uh, left side what we are doing f dash of t remember left side if you are multiplied by right side if you are multiplied by s left side uh, you have to differentiate okay na? now problems on this first problem solve what they are given s into f of s you know that uh, generally f of s i am considering like 1 by s square plus a square 1 by s square plus a square if you consider as f of s can you say what is f of t yes sin a t by a only now multiply s for this i multiplied s so this is now you have to solve this problem this problem you can solve in different methods but particularly if they are mentioned like uh, by using multiplication by s you have to do this method only now you observe this problem this is in the form of s into f of s is it or not where tell me what is f of s f of s is equal to 1 by s square plus a square then what is l inverse of f of s l inverse of f of s is L inverse of 1 by s square plus a square. This is equal to sin a t by a. Sin a t by a. Is it or not? Yes. Now, what is the L inverse of formula? Multiplication by s. L inverse of s into f of s. S into f of s. Is equal to what do you have? f dash of t. What is f of t here you have? Sin a t by a. This is f of t. Moreover, f of 0 is what? 0 should be. So, take f of 0, find out f of 0. f of 0 means sin 0. What is the sin 0? 0. So, can you apply the multiplication by s formula? Yes. So, l inverse of s into f of s is equal to what? f dash of t. Nothing but d by dt of sin a t by a. So, here 1 by a I am writing outside sin a t derivative 1 by a I am writing outside sin a t derivative what is the sin a t derivative cos a t into a so a a getting cancelled then you will have yes cos a t only now you check it tell me what is Laplace transformation of cos a t yes by s square plus a square or not yes that is the multiplication by s method if you want we can uh, now next problem solve l inverse of 1 by s square plus 4s plus 13 if they are given this one this is only like a l inverse of 1 by s square plus 4s plus 13 is nothing but f of s now multiply s so now it will become s into f of s now we have to solve this problem right you see this is in the form of s into f of s na? so tell me what is f of s now this is s into f of s is s square plus 4s plus 13 that implies f of s is, is equal to 1 by s square plus 4s plus 13 now you see we have to find the l inverse of f of s for this so how to find L inverse of f of s? Is it directly s square plus 13? No. Is it like 4s plus 13? No. s square plus 4s is there. So you have to go for s plus a whole square or s minus a whole square form. Then you have to compare with s square plus 2as. 
then you can write this as s plus ca whole square form you see now this is i am applying first l inverse on both sides l inverse of f dash of s is equal to l inverse of 1 by s square plus 4s plus 13 now this is is equal to l inverse of c 2as s square ka s square 2as means 4s so in place of 2a what i have 4 so what is a now 2 therefore what i can add this as s plus 2 whole square tell me what is s plus 2 whole square s square plus 4s plus 4 but how much extra you have 9 so add these 9 here then both will be same or not yes now you see this is s plus a or s minus a forms then go for first shifting theorem of inverse laplace transform inverse laplace transform of first shifting theorem first shifting first shifting theorem is you will have like e power here you will have s minus a type s plus a na? s minus of minus a or s plus a so what you will get out say? e power minus 2t how you will get e power minus 2t in place of s minus a what i have minus 2 so e power a t a is equal to minus 2 so l inverse of 1 by s square plus 9 now e power minus 2t into what is l inverse of 1 by s square plus 9 yeah this is in the form of 1 by s square plus a square so sin 3t by 3 this is what value l inverse of f of s nothing but what f of t now you find out f of 0 f of 0 f of 0 is what e power 0 is 1 sin 0 is what 0 see f of t you have f of 0 you have now by definition of l inverse of s into f of s is L inverse of s into f of s is, is equal to f dash of t so now apply the formula this is is equal to d by dt of l inverse of s by s square plus 4s plus 13 is is equal to d by dt of e power minus 2t sin 3t by 3 okay na? now 1 by 3 is outside uv rule u v dash is equal to u v dash plus v u dash any one of them you can consider as u because we are differentiating not integrating right so e power minus 2t into sin 3t derivative is cos 3t into 3 plus v v means here sin 3t into u dash e power minus 2t derivative e power minus 2t into minus 2 Okay now, so this is what value, from this what I can take common, e power minus 2t, I can take common, e power minus 2t if I take in common, then you will have e power minus 2t by 3, this is 3 cos 3t minus 2 sin 3t, this is the value of